Meet Ethical Crack. My ultimate Iron Man is taking the game mode just a step further. Not only can I not use a bank, but I can't use any method of storage outside of my inventory. That means no looting bag, no death storage, no death piles, no stash units, and no player-owned house storage. To achieve my goals in this game mode, I will need to think and play very differently. Hello wonderful people, I am so glad to have you here. In the last episode we finished off Sins of the Father which allows us to craft blood runes once we achieve the level, and in this episode, oh boy do we have some rune crafting to do. Our goal is to finish the hardest diarrhea requirement, crafting a full inventory of double mats. Or more specifically, uh, as seen on screen getting 56 nature runes at once, so that lets us get a workaround by having a couple of items still in our inventory, because we will have to hold everything we own, but using the raiments of the eye from Guardians of the Rift. Before we jump into all the rune crafting though, we're going to quickly knock out the Varrock hard diaries, because we want to use the Varrock body to mine some extra fragments at Guardians of the Rift. Ah, you thought the souls were your ally. We need 153 kudos for the Varrock Hard Diary, so I've just been doing some questing. We've been doing the mini quests. We've done Making History, not a mini quest, and then we've done the one to get Ghostly Robes, Curse of the Empty Lord, and this, when this doggy dies, will be General's Shadow. 10,000 Herb Lore, that's another level. And we just finished his Eel's Cult, which is going to give us another 5 kudos. Tale of Two Cats and What Lies Below would do it for us. Oh, and b went to make a chocolate cake for A Tale of Two Cats, and you need 50 cooking to do that, and we are only 48, so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna buy some grapes. When these wines ferment, we should have our 50 cooking. Wines, like, requiring absolutely no items to set up and you can just get good cooking XP rates here is nuts. That is so cool. I can now make chocolate cakes. You now need to wait 15 to 35 minutes for the potatoes to grow. <sighs> Alright, we're waiting for some potatoes. We finished Below Ice Mountain. Tale of two cats done. Now we just need to do what lies below. And what lies below. That should be all of the kudos we need. 153 kudos and there is our diary task done. Wait, no, what do I have to talk to him about? Orlando Smith. Who's that? Ah, oh, it's the Australian guy downstairs. Okay, cool. Hard task done. Creature of Fank and Strain, because it is required for... We had to wait for ages and we were forced to watch a cutscene of a bickering couple. But there we go. We got some seeds. Nice. 57 as well. Can I pick fruit yet? I guess I pick fruit later. We have a fletching level coming in from our woodcutting training. 65, meaning I can now do you short bow. Oh, that was a six hour log. <laughs> oh, come on, that one should have been it. Oh, damn it, there we go. Ugh. 75 wood cutting. Yeah, we can go cut our own magic trees now. Oh, that's super gross. We might end up Turiel skipping that. But hey, we got a diary task done. It's time to get rid of all of this stuff now. Alright, we're feeling much better after getting rid of all that weight. Quest helper says bank your armor and weapons. Well, jokes on them, I don't have any armor and weapons. Ha, huh. take that. And what's a bank? Look at that enlightened journey. That's really nice to get on an ultimate Iron Man. And now I just need to do a couple more runs with each tier of logs to unlock all the routes. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you telling me that the Grand Tree route didn't require 10 logs, like every single other one. I just cut 10 magic logs with a steel axe for nothing. Ah! Ah! And then the oh my, only tasks remaining for our Varrock Hard Diaries are 66 Hunter and 68 Farming plus a U Seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start doing birdhouse runs until we get a U Seed for the 66 Hunter, and in between we're going to do some Tithe Farm until we're 68 Farming. 
or 60 farming here at the type. I think that means five more levels till we can comfortably boost. But also we can now grow the things. So if we get the seed, we can put it in the patch. I was just babysitting a contract here because it's going to be grown really quick. And I found something cool. Look at this. So I can be thieving master farmers. And once I go below 10 HP, I can chuck on a redemption to heal up on the farmer when it hits me. Just like that. And now I have a Jenga berry bush planted over here. I can pick some Jenga berries. And scoffing those down gives me prayer points back. So I can keep pickpocketing and when I get to sub 10 HP again, I can do another redemption. Oh cool, 65 thieving. Uh, I don't know if we got anything from that because I cancelled the level. Oops. Oh, and there's the used seat. Wonderful. And we have something special to go with that. Here it is. Check health cactus. And this is the payment to protect you seats, so we're not going to be losing this one. Alright, put that in there, give some spines to the dude, thank you very much. Now we just need a return once we have 65 farming plus a garden pie to get our double roots. Yeah, I'm wearing my serial killer outfit at the moment. We got a whole bunch of points and we're going to buy the one thing that we want here, which is auto weed. We may come back later and get the seed box because I'm likely to get that many points, but auto weed is just so nice. We slaughtered like 50 goblins to grab ourselves a chef's hat, so goodbye to my serial killer outfit. Now I'm just a, a, a chef by the looks, because in here we have garden pies, which currently are going to let us do medium contracts, which is going to be really nice for extra seeds in the farming guild, and very shortly in a level and a half they're what we're going to use to dig up some yew roots. It is always a wonderful time when your hardwoods are ready. Oh, the XP. Ah, oh, it flows in so fast. All the way up to 65. I could do my Hispori. Cool. I'll go plant that in the farming guild. Sounds good. That's also the level we need. So let's take, after this birdhouse run, of course, a quick detour over to Varrock and pick up some roots. Ah, this is agony. I have to actively wait and watch chopping a yew tree with a steel axe so that as soon as it goes, I can boost up and, <laughs> and pick up the roots. Ah! It's not even on a timer like regular yew trees now, thanks to forestry. It's just, it, it could take forever. Who, who knows? Uh, eat the pie, clear the stump. You could watch in game time to see how long that took. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a hard task done. We have Varrock mediums done. Varrock cards, one task left. We need 66 hunter, boostable from 63 with a hunter potion. No! Oh, what a waste of successfully getting over a tripwire. That never happens. Ah, oh, I forgot to get another garden pie. I can't plant my palm. Can't plant, can't plant my palm tree in Betia just yet. Fuck. Okay, let's, let's go get another pie and then do all that shit again. See, we come back and fail it. Of course. Yeah, it was destined. Okay, I really hope that doesn't die. <laughs> okay, back to Hunter. And a cool E equals peak down just so we can finish it off with some box trap and some uh, regular chins. <laughs> Oh, I've just realized that the 66 hunt is not boostable. Uh, no, I just used my T-Clock. Fuck! Oh, please don't be a long DC. I don't want to lose... Oh, thank God, the box trap still... What? That's a bunch of... What? Wait, how come I could... Take that one, but not the other ones? Oh, that's so annoying. I'm so close. <laughs> All right, here goes. There is our hunter potion ready to be used. Yeah. All right, here we are at jellies. It's where we're going to be throwing all of our chins. Hopefully we get good XP from it. I have no idea how this is going to be. Oh, the XP from these is absolutely zooming. There goes the 72 range. We got a mage level as well, just from elking the drops. The drops have actually been awesome. This has been a great idea. Two, one, and the one died. There goes our last fluffy friend. That was 
really nice. We got 130k mage XP, including some, not mage XP, 130k an hour of ranged XP. And we got a whole lot of, I just elked a lobster. We had a go with some guy's bird, and now this guy can make me a spottier cape. Oh, right click. <laughs> and put it on. That is a hard task in the Varrock Diary completed, and we have done the full Varrock Diary. Cheers. Oh, that feels good to have. That's everything we needed for the Guardians of the Rift out of the way. Let's go set up our inventory for it and begin. And of course, Lamp Dopamine on the herb lore yeah almost two levels but we got 58 we have done a little bit of guardians of the rift before for just acquiring runes and for questing getting those rc levels up a touch so we've got a couple of loots ready to go we're just going to loot those at the start see if we get any starter pearls or items no oh, we got a thing straight away we got one of those Ooh, and oh, and two pouches back to back. That's really nice. Oh, and another collection log. That's awesome. Oh, and the large pouch. Oh, and the giant pouch. That is fucking gorgeous. Oh, yes, we got the needle. Can't use it yet, but that is fantastic. And here we go. The long grind to 86 rune crafting. It begins. When I can pass the barrier. Come on, any any home now it begins. It begins? Surely it begins. I believe it begins. Oh my god. Oh, and then they... Mm. Here comes our first big milestone level from this grind. 65 rune crafting. I can now do death runes, which is one of the runes we're keeping because we're going to use them to burst afterwards. But as well as just being things we're keeping, it's really going to help us catch up on our catalytic energy, which is about 30 points behind at the moment. My first death runes coming in. Is gorgeous. Nice. There are my looting my thingy, so you can't really see them. Or oh, would you look at that number of pearls? That is enough to buy Boots of the Eye. The shittest beast of the outfit, but and you couldn't even see them. But the first one, we're now getting slightly more runes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That is a massive milestone on the account because number go up. We have 66 searches ready. We've done a couple unrecorded and got nothing remarkable so you didn't see it, but time to loot 66 more. Fuck. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. With this lantern, we are going to need we're are gonna need to go get some U logs and put them in. It's going to give basically 10% more points. And that means 10% faster getting all of the outfit. That is fantastic. Um, that's so good. That's so good. I can hand that in for extra pearls, can't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Use on you? No. Value? No. Can I not hand that in for extra pearls? Hold on. Wiki? It says we can. Maybe we talk to them. Ah, here we go. In an abyssal lander for a hundred pearls. That's amazing. Oh my god. So I've also been contemplating chaos runes. And I think it's time... To change what I'm doing. We're going to get so many pearls. We are going to repair our pouches in here, not with NPC contact, but with the friend inside. So we are going to empty the rune pouch. We're going to get rid of air runes. We're going to get rid of cosmic runes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. And we're going to get rid of astra runes. And now we have both extra inventory space. Oh my god, I had left click drop on those extra inventory space and we get to keep extra runes for the cost of a couple of pearls that we should definitely have excess of all right one u log from that whole tree we put it in you need six what <laughs> all right game six u logs there we go oh did you see my little dance when i put that in that was cool 
All right, we're getting 10% more points now. Rewards Guardian with a big old 103 loots ready. We're gonna grab them. Oh, clue you in if we get anything special. Uh, that's that's cool. It's not a collection log slot because I got one before and dropped it. But it's a it's a thing. Look, it gets green chat. Wow. And Richard, why are they after that's that's weird. Hell yeah, somewhere in that. Oh my god. Oh what a legend. Uh, I was going to get the <laughs> uh, hat and put this on it. But I kind of want to wear my dragon med helm and I'll be, oh my god, fire runes. Actually, no. Better idea. That was fire talisman fire runes. There they are. Right. Um, yeah, but sorry, that's getting out. That was fun while it lasted. Boop. Okay, now we can get our hat. Value 400 pearls. We have heaps. Collection log slot completed. And I can put that on. Wait, can I put that on there? Isn't that what, like. To any runecraft. Oh, I have to make it into a tiara? Okay, okay, we go do that. Alright, tiara created. Oh, shit. How do I do this? Uh. Locate? What? Why does it. Nothing interesting. Why do they put that option there if nothing interesting happens? What the fuck? Uh. Uh. Okay, wiki, help. At a catalytic altar. Uh. Okay, what's the closest catalytic altar uh mind altar oh my god i don't have that on me how do i get to falador i walked sue me it didn't even have an animation gross is that it does it work now cool hat after we craft these these chaos runes we get bang 75 room crafting and our giant pouch down here can come out of retirement to the top of the inventory and we can now hold way more essence that's actually the biggest upgrade we can get we got super lucky on our last pulls and we can afford some pants collection log slot completed are we gonna get into this guardian before the game ends uh, we are I wanted to know that because we were going to get 77 rune crafting. Members can now craft blood runes. That is absolutely enormous. Oh, it's my first time here. It's gorgeous. 53 searches ready. If we go bang on rate, we will have 350 abyssal pearls. Wish us luck. You can do it. Yes, I need one more head of pearls. One more head of pearls. Uh, yeah, we got it. Oh, that's sick. Oh, and I just keep getting more. Wonderful. We're four out of four. Look at that. Outfit achieved. We only have nine more room crafting levels to go. Uh, this also means our time searching the reward guardian is ends. We don't need pearls for anything anymore other than repairing our pouches. And any of the other loots are just going to be clutter. So it's better if we don't loot the reward guardian and we will come back here once we're finished. Oh my god, there's a crafting level. Just, oh, I can now make those without boosting. Sick. Holy, a mining level from the thing. When this game decides to finish, we're hitting a huge milestone level that I have been really looking forward to. 79 rune crafting not because of that but because that is halfway to 86 we are halfway done with the grind we have completely stopped trying to balance our energy we're getting way too many catalytic because i've realized there's nothing more i want from there we're probably not even going to be looting at the end of this grind as sad as that is to say here we have 80 rune crafting why is it not moving don't worry about it oh and 75 mining too this clip was atrocious. I went on a mega ramble. So I'm going to voice over. We have enormous stacks of runes now. More than 16,000. So they can't fit in our rune pouch anymore. We handed in the tarnished locket. And we got this amulet of the eye. Which I can destroy at any time. And pick back up from this friend. But here it is. And this is super useful. I can use it to teleport here whenever the hell I want. 
All right, there's the feud done. Let's get rid of some of this shit. The shop will buy nature runes for 90 GP, law runes for 120, soul runes for 150. Oh, money go up. Oh my god, look at that cash. <laughs> well, this is going to take a while. <laughs> 4.3 million GP and two spots freed up. When this great guardian has a shoot. Ready? Here he goes. 85 rune crafting. We can use a colossal pouch. And we got the needle drop before. So if I take a quick nosy on over to a crafting shop. Pick up this on the way. Subdonic. One of your finest needles. Thank you very much. And if we bring that up to the Rewards Guardian, use Needle on Rewards Guardian, it should return to us our Abyssal Needle. And we can use that on these. Yeah, combine them. There it is. And this thing is amazing. It can hold 40 Essence and is only one slot. It's so good for rune crafting. I cannot wait to start using this. Here we go. My first time rune crafting with this on this account. You come up and we'll watch the XP drops here. It's absolutely insane. Bang, 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 bang. Oh my god, it's so good. Also, you may have noticed, but my blood runes have overflowed the rune pouch as well. Ah, uh, I remember I'm going to be keeping cosmic runes because, let's put these back in the rune pouch, we're going to need to do some MTA, and for MTA, uh, the cosmic runes can be needed and might as well get them from here. Holy shit. Oh, there it is. That's insane. I did it. Yes. Ah, oh, that feels really good. You know, I wasn't sure I would be able to get to that. It sounded like a nuts level doing rune crafting the whole way to 86 on basically a fresh UAM. With no looting bag, no bank, no house storage. But we've done it. That is the requirement to plus five boost for all of the diary steps. And look at some of this loot. This is insane. I have 4,000 nats and 1,800 laws left over. That's after selling 16,000 of them to the shop. We've got some cosmics ready for an MTA grind, and these burst runes, which I saved the whole time, that's enormous. All right, let's go smash out a couple of diary steps. We just picked up a couple of more runes from the Guardian, and we have left over 338 searches for some other time. But now for some housekeeping of the inventory. We have no use for Abyssal Pearls, they gotta go. We've got no use for the pouch, we got, it's got to go. I know we're about to actually runecraft stuff, but we're not going to bring that because I'm not really doing it for the runes. For the RD Hard Diary, we have craft some death runes. Our attuned catalytic tiara coming in clutch with my robe hat because for the Felador Hard Diary, we have craft a whole lot of mind runes. I don't know how many inventory spots I'm going to need for this one, but let's hope this is a Felidor Elite task. It's not a Felidor Elite task. Shit, how many did I make? I have no idea. Alright, so 19 times 8 times 1.6 equals 243 runes. And we needed another 9. So we need 252. So what if I get 20 times 9? times 1.6 yeah that'll do it that'll do it cool all right with the power of maths oh my god we did it for the elite fremenic diaries we have ah astral runes oh shit we can't use this okay we go round oh we're chasing this guy down and we're chasing him right into an elite task in the current and care boss area sup niles all right we just do this right we use those on there Oh, I forgot essence. Shit, okay, one more trip. Okay, this time we've got it. We brought the essence. Yeah, lava runes, medium task done. Coming through the abyss into the cosmic altar means not only that we've got a hard task in the Lumbridge and Draenor diary done, but if I click on this little portal friend over here, we can get into Xanarus without having to have a Draymond staff, which is sick. 
much like the Fellows Old Diary, we have not checked maths. Do we get it? We do get it. And for the Elite Varrock Diaries, there is one rune crafting step left. Well, there's actually two steps. There's craft 56 nature runes from essence and craft some nature runes from essence. I'm assuming those both work together. And to do that, we need a plus five rune crafting boost. To get our plus five rune crafting boost, uh, yeah, we're going to need to cat. So we're going to go raise up a cat and I don't know, probably do some agility or something during it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no. I got it in one. Okay, we gotta hop every 12 seconds, we have to empty our inventory, we have to mine a full thing of pure essence, and we need to get to the nature altar without losing this rune crafting boost. Stress, stress. Okay, here comes the last pure essence, one more XP drop, there we go. And hop once we get here, down to the charter ship. I've just realized the Brimhaven docks better. I didn't think this through too much. Ah. Oh no, we got a dead plant. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I really hope nothing attacks me and keeps me in combat, stopping me from being able to hop, because losing this would suck. We're going to skirt down the coast, try not go in here and get hit by any Brudu victims. All right, we made it to the altar, the final world hop, to our homeworld. In we go, craft the runes. Yes! Oh. Well, that was mega stressful. <laughs> but that's done now. That is the hardest diary requirement that was going to be on this account ever, I think. That's amazing. Alright, let me, like, a billion times check that I've done all the room crafting steps. Because if, if I've missed one, uh, uh, this next part could be problems. Well, if you ever wondered if we're serious about this account and not storing things... What? I... I... Uh, come on. I was trying to be dramatic. Okay, we just drop them. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> that little pie chart is starting to look real low. The runecrafting stage of our account is over and I'm so happy about it. Like, I actually quite enjoyed that. That was good but we could do so much cool stuff now. And the first port of call is to use all these supplies we've got. Oh, there they go. This is gone. That is a massive milestone on the account. If I had left those later and I had items I didn't want to get rid of, those would have been serious problems stopping me from ever getting some diaries done. So having those done is just an enormous weight off the shoulders and opens up so much stuff for the future. Beginning with using all the stuff we got from it, which is going to be for next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to see the next one. Plus, coming out shortly, are some exciting leagues content.